So uh, we've so the lagoon is breached now. So the lagoon is open. This isn't the normal condition. This is usually what we see when we have high flow conditions. So usually we only uh, you would expect this uh, on this volume of a of a river. This is a year round creek feeding in here, Malibu Creek. Um, but this uh, uh, this breaking we usually only see in the winter systems, uh, winter winter time. So you can see right now this guy's calving in, right? So this so this guy's flooding out. It's right now it's about a plus two foot elevation. Um, in terms of the tide, the ocean out there, and it's dropping. So the water level is going out. So all this water here, both both the volume that was in here, as well as the stuff that's constantly flooding it all the time, this is going out to sea in this relatively narrow area. And so what it's doing is acting to, to calve and make this channel a bit wider and to make it deeper and deeper. So we're exchanging all of the retained water out there. Now, this is gonna be fresher. This is gonna be um, much more like uh, not 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 fresh water, but it's gonna be more brackish, right? So the salinity here is gonna be more closer to fresh water. As we get out to the ocean, it's obviously going to be salt water. As the tide shifts, so right now again the tide is going low. As the tide starts to well, once we bottom out there and the tide starts coming back up, we're gonna to tend to see a pressure head that's gonna come in here and it's gonna to act to tend to push water. Uh, if it's high enough, push salt water in here. So we're gonna see the salt lens is gonna be playing back and forth. So we see some of these critters okay. are foraging more in the, the, the salt area, the salty area, right? Um, other, other birds or other critters are going to be foraging or, or living more in the fresher parts of the lagoon. So we're going to start to see stratification. Before this was breached, we wouldn't see that much uh, uh, stratification of the mobile critters because it would be relatively the same. The other thing that we're going to see, the other, the other, uh, one of the reasons why this, these areas become uh, relatively stressful um, speaking of the, the aquatic side of things, the water side of things, is as this water is coming in, it tends to heat up over summertime. So this is water that is just, it, you can imagine just sitting in the sun, sitting in the sun, sitting in the sun. And because we don't have an exchange with the ocean, there's nothing to ameliorate the salinity or the temperature. And so that tends to make, and then whatever salt water gets in here because of, wa of, of seawater seeping in through the sand over here, or because of seawater overtopping the, the top of the, the dunes or you know, whatever the situation is, the salt water builds up. But then the fresh water in the hot summertime, that's gonna the fresh water is gonna evaporate. The H2O molecules are gonna tend to go up in the air. So this area will tend to become hyper saline, tend to become even saltier than the ocean. So this, this exchange with the ocean um, is going to make everything more mellow. It's going to create um, more gradients um, front to back of the estuary, and it's also going to ameliorate some of the craziest, most intense um, changes. As we look here, we're also going to see the benefit of, again, that heterogeneity thing we mentioned. So we see a bunch of gulls in this, in this case um, out here on this little shallow area. Again, having that little area they can hang out is nice. You do still see, if we look over here, you do still see gulls here on the sand area, but because people are around and doing stuff, they're not as, maybe might not be here foraging, looking for people's sandwiches, but over here, they're actually more resting. And so, um, so having the, that heterogeneity is also helpful for short-term uses, not even just long-term, but even short-term behavioral um, 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 utility of the organisms that, that, that need some, some help in that regard.